This is a uh, pretty typical question that you'll see on the 7th grade math test. It says, what shape makes up the base and what shape makes the faces of the figure below? So they're talking about this figure right here. And what we have, it looks like, is some type of, of pyramid. Now, I'm not really a fan of this question because the base, which is the bottom of any shape, and of course we know bottom is relative, but sometimes you can think of it as the side that a shape can stand on. So if we have a base of a pyramid right here, the rest of the, oops, the rest of the pyramid at the best drawing right here can stand on that base. So this is the base right here. Um, but okay, so they're asking us, you know, what about the base and the faces? So the idea is that every shape has faces and edges and bases. So let's look at uh, a simpler shape just for a moment. If we have some type of box, which they would call a rectangular prism, and this is my attempt to draw one, and usually you see dotted lines on a shape. These dotted lines represent uh, as if you're seeing through the shape. So the solid lines are what you see, and the dotted lines are what you would see if you could walk through this shape. So a face is, well, if we look at this side right here, the lines that I'm highlighting right now are called edges. So every shape has edges. And edges are basically the connection of what we call vertices. Vertices are these points where lines meet, or edges meet. So four edges and four vertices form what we call a face. So this right here is a face. So if this was a box or a cube, it would have six faces. Here our pyramid has a base in the bottom, which, and they'll usually define a pyramid by saying square pyramid or rectangular pyramid. And whatever we're looking at, this first word right here tells us what the base actually is. So if we had a pentagonal pyramid somehow or something like that, the first word would tell you that, oh, the base is a pentagon. They don't tell us here. But we can look at the picture, and either our options for bases are rectangles or um, squares. And it looks like from the picture here that there mo it makes the most sense for them to have squares. Um, so in fact, I would choose choice B because these faces up here look like equilateral triangles and on the bottom we have a square. But let's look at the other choices just for a moment. And this is uh, an important technique to have and use is, is a multiple choice. Let's look at the other options before we really decide if B is going to be our answer. So A is out. Why? Because look at these triangles they give us. Um, it is true that we could use these triangles to make these. But notice that the, the faces are not cut along the sides here. In fact, the face is right here this whole thing. Three edges, three vertices form this face, which is this triangle. So this one's out. Uh, these don't really make sense because the, um, the face right here doesn't really fit on the base. Maybe we go about halfway. And if you can try and imagine what this would look like, we get this weird kind of overlap. I'm not sure what kind of a shape it would make. So D is out. And for the same reason, C, so B is our answer. In fact, a lot of questions on the state test are like this. They'll give you here a rectangular prism. Don't be intimidated by that word. That essentially means a box. And we can go into detail later about exactly what are prisms and anti-prisms. Um, but essentially, right here, we have a rectangular prism. And the reason being that the faces are rectangles. And they ask you a, a question of which statement is true about the faces of this prism. So only one of these are true. All the faces are squares. Well, a square, remember, has all uh, the edges to be exactly equal. And if you look at this one right here in the front, it's a four by two. So that's out, that's not a square, that's a rectangle. None of the faces are squares. Well, that's not true, because two of our dimensions are equal. It's a four by four. So that means the base and the bottom and the top up here are, are squares. And this is only two of the faces are squares. That seems reasonable. It's only four of the faces are squares. Well, C is the answer, because the top and bottom are squares. Here's a similar question. What shape is the base of the pyramid? Very similar to the first question. Uh, they don't tell us what type of pyramid, and they don't, don't even give us the option of a rectangle, because, and that's good because you can't even tell if it's a square or a rectangle, and I think a square is the best choice. Another one, a rectangular pyramid is shown below. Here's what I was talking about. A rectangular pyramid, 
Well, that means that the base, we should see a rectangle. Ironically, in, in these images, we don't really see a rectangle, uh, but we see squares. Now, a square is a rectangle, because a rectangle has to basically have two sets of parallel sides and 490 degree angles, so I mean, that, that is a rectangle. Um, but of course, that might confuse you. The next thing to think about is, okay, this makes no sense, because we have these five faces, and it's true that there are one, two, three, four, five faces on the shape, but these faces that are standing up are clearly triangles. So I would choose this choice right here, B. We have the four pyramids of four faces that fit onto the one, two, three, four sides of the base. This one is uh, probably the most common mistake, but remember, if the base has four sides and you only have three faces standing up, then this pyramid would have like a hollow side. Here's another similar question. All the figures below have at least one rectangular face, except for which figure? So basically asking you which of these figures don't have a rectangular face. And uh, the rectangular prism right here is out. The rectangular pyramid is out. A, it looks like a, tri a bunch of triangles. Look at the f this front face right here. It's a rectangle. So our only left choice left is this cone D. Um, so here they ask you how many faces are on this rectangular prism. Think of a dice that you could roll or a box that you have. It has six faces. Top, bottom, front, back, left, and right. Um, a rectangular pyramid is shown below. Very similar again. Which shape could be the base? Well, it has to be a rectangle or a square, which is a type of rectangle. What is the shape of the base of each cylinder? A cylinder is essentially two circles, top and bottom, and in the middle is this lateral surface, which is actually a rectangle unfolded. It's like wrapped around like a tube. Uh, but anyway, the base is considered these circles right here. Because again, of course you could look, lay the cylinder on the lateral surface and then try and define it as the base, but typically this is considered the base, the circle. So now we have a tent. This is a triangular prism. And they're asking you what combination of shapes make the faces and the bases. So there's one base in the bottom. And picture it would be a rectangle. And then here we have a rectangle. In the front we have a triangle. And on the opposite side we have another triangle. And don't forget the rectangle on this side that's hidden. So we have one, two, three rectangles and two triangles. And so these are up. They say three triangles. So it's either this one or this one. I think three rectangles makes the most sense.